watch. This is my channel, Nudes Per Second. Welcome, everybody. You ever have any of those ideas that just kind of pop in your head and you're like, yeah, I think I can do that. Well, I'm sitting there one day and I'm like, I haven't done a cluster project in forever since my old days flying with the Canada Rocket Club. And I'm like, I had this design just pop in my head for a cluster rocket. I have four E12 SD motors and I have one F15 SD motors. And I'm thinking like, I'll just use those all in a rocket. So I start playing around with RockSim and I come up with a five cluster rocket. I use uh, Staples mailing tube. I 3D printed a nose cone for it. I've got scrap plywood around the house so I get my center rings cut, fins cut. So the only thing I really needed out of pocket was going to Staples for the four inch diameter tube. That thing's like 37 inches long and I had to get some more epoxy. So I just went to a local store. I got uh, some epoxy for like four bucks, seven dollars for the tube, and then the rest of the supplies are around the house. So real easy. You know, I got motor tubes that I left over from saran wrap rolls that are 24 millimeter. I got a 29 millimeter uh, that, that's from something else that happened to fit. So I'm going to use all these spare parts and make this cool rocket, right? So within 24 hours, I build this rocket and Cato Rocket Club had a launch going in January and I was trying to get this rocket ready to go. So I start printing the nose cone overnight. It takes 16 hours to print a four inch diameter nose cone. Weighs almost a half a pound with all the infill in it. I think I used 50% infill, make sure it was really beefy. And start cutting the rocket, the parts and stuff. I got it all ready to go to be flyable and I, I couldn't make it down to the rocket launch in January. So with that, that gave me extra time to really make improvements on the rocket. So meaning I was gonna fly it without being painted. So now I painted the rocket. I've got it decaled, pretty cool. Something a little unique. And I made a 32 inch semi-elliptical parachute using all my scrap materials. Now this parachute came out way better than I thought and I've never done a pattern type of parachute like that you know so mapping out all the scraps I had and uh, yeah I was pretty happy with the results tested it in the yard so the Cato Club has a launch tomorrow Saturday February 18th 2023 and I'm pretty excited to be setting this up I also added a little more security to the motors. I was just friction fitting and then wrapping tape around the end of the motor tube, kind of like securing it to the motor tube assembly. But I added these huge washers that are bolted in and it's gonna hold, each washer holds three motors for three sides of the motor. And as another precaution, right? You can't be, can't be too safe. So to ignite the motors all at the same time, I plan on using FireWire's E-matches. And it should get those all lit pretty close to the same time. I also added some extra black powder to the end of the F-15 motor for the ejection charge just to make sure we're pushing out that nose cone and everything. Uh, but with the five charges, I don't think it's going to be an issue. They're all set at four seconds. Uh, the flight it simmed at around 750 feet with a 4.1 second delay estimated. So four seconds is pretty close on that. And I don't think I'm gonna need shoot release. Uh, it'll be a pretty quick flight unless the winds are bad. The rest of the video is just gonna cover real quick the build process of the cluster rocket from cutting the parts out, gluing them together, painting, creating the parachute. I still have part three of the Skydigger project the fiberglass uh, custom build, uh, that'll be coming out pretty soon. I'll release another quick video too of how the launch went with this clustered rocket. So either way, hopefully it'll probably be an entertaining video one way or another. So here's the rest of the video, hope you enjoy.